I don't know how much this is going to show, but um, Madeline hiding behind the hibiscus. Um, this is uh, not bad runoff considering we did come out and clean day one and day two out here. I did some work out here, so I'll tell you, these plants were very, very happy. <laughs> Very happy indeed. This is a Joe Marcos garden plant. That's a banana tree, folks, in Colorado. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go. I'll show you what happened here. This is what happened here. Uh, there's a whole new way to find my way back home. Now Gary's going to be coming in right now. Taking him three hours to drive uh, 40 miles because of the bad roads, uh, closed roads. This used to be pretty easy coming down the hill right now. Coming down the hill. Let's see that move on there. Dogs know he's home. Kids know he's home. I have got he's home. And, um,. That'll give you an idea, just a little bit. I can't tell you how much of the mountain came down, but we'll know soon enough. There's uh, there's our world. And um, I think there's some peacocks up there in our world. There's one. The other one's in here somewhere, but there's the one for sure. You see her? Yeah, the other one's in the tree over here. I don't know if you can see him. But then, you could be watching this on your screen, on your phone, or on your TV. So, that's how green it got for us. And actually, let me show something off here. Even though this is going to be coming in for the winter. Um, Joe Marcos's garden is just like Joe Marcos. Spread past the the lines of what is generally considered normal and has spread his wings to fly. We love you, Joe. We love our garden. Good night, everyone.